Hey everyone, it's Blake Bundy here from Winning Solutions Inc. And today I will be bringing you guys another Microsoft Access Expert Template Walkthrough. I will be showing you guys where to find the template database on our website, how to download the template database demo, and how to use the demo properly. Most of our templates are not designed to be used on their own. Instead, they are designed in a way that makes it simple and smooth to integrate it into an already existing database that you have already been using. You can also build a more robust Microsoft Access database that is built around one of our templates. If you would like to create a new database that is based off of one of our templates and don't know how or do not have the time to do so, let us know and we would be happy helping you with getting the database that 100% fits your needs. With most of our templates that we offer, there's three different versions that you can purchase. A compiled runtime version, one for internal use, and one for unlimited developer use. Our, our compiled runtime version is a run as is version without the paid full version of Microsoft Access using the free Access runtime from Microsoft. It can be integrated into your existing Access application, but you would not be able to make any modifications to the forms, the reports, the modules, etc. This option is more for those of you who do not see any need to make any customizations to the template. Our internal use version allows you to use or modify the databases however you wish within your organization. And last but not least, our unlimited developer use version allows you to use the database template however you wish for any applications you develop and distribute the template as part of a database you create. Winning Solutions Inc's templates have a strong advantage over shrink wrap software that you purchase from a store or website. With our templates, you receive the source code along with your purchase so you are able to customize and update the database as you please. With shrink wrap software, you do not receive the source code when purchasing the software which means that you cannot update or customize the database as you wish. In our video today, we will be working on a demo version of our database template. A demo is a simple way that you can view and try out our database templates so that you can determine if you would like to purchase it or not. This is great for customers due to the fact that all of our sales are final. Our sales are final because when we, we give you the source code when you purchase the template. And once we give you the source code, there is really no way that you can return the code. If you'd like to test out our demos for multiple days, you are free to do so. All you have to do is leave the database open so that the data you enter will not be wiped. That is because our demos are designed so that once you close the demo, all the data that you have entered will be wiped from that database. You have to purchase the full version if you would like to save your data that you have entered. Upon downloading a demo for one of our templates, you will have to unzip the downloadable file. Zip files make it much easier to send and download large files over the web. Unzipping a file is a very simple step. All you have to do is extract the file so that you have access to the uncompressed file. If you do not know how or do not understand how to unzip a file, check out our YouTube channel and watch the How to Unzip One of Our Files video tutorial to learn this simple step. The link to that video will be in the description of this video. So now, let us get into downloading and testing out one of our templates. We're going to start off here by going to our website at microsoftaccessexpert.com. As you can see, I have been here before. On the top of our website, there's going to be a toolbar with all the various ways that you are able to contact Winning Solutions Inc. You're going to want to click on the sidebar button on the left side of our homepage that is labeled Database Templates for Sale. A sublist then opens up and you need to select the Database Templates List button to view the list of all of our templates that we offer. The list is broken up into categories. The different categories that we currently have are our most popular ones, appointment and scheduling databases, calendars databases, reservations and booking databases, contact and communications databases, task management databases, equipment and maintenance tracking databases, sales databases, employee databases, education databases, small business databases, and last but not least, database tools and miscellaneous templates. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Access Asset Tracking Database Template. 
So if you scroll up a little bit here and under a small business section, click the Access Asset Tracking Database. Once that web page opens, go ahead and go down to our download a demonstration section and download the demonstration that correctly corresponds with the current version of Microsoft Access that your computer is running on. I'm going to download this one. Once it downloads, go ahead and open the file. And the file is zipped, so you're going to need to extract all of its contents. Go ahead and hit extract all, then extract. Once you've extracted that file, go ahead and open the file. And with all of our database templates, since they do come from the web, your computer views them as a potential security risk or concern. I can assure you that this database template is safe, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on and open the file. And as always with the database templates, you also get a pop-up box just stating that this is a demo, so none of the data you enter will be saved. If you want to save your information within the database template, you need to purchase the full version, as well as our contact information and all the different ways that you can contact us is also in this pop-up box. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it for now. We're going to add a new employee first. So if you go to the employees tab here and go up to the add new employee, we're just going to put in some fake names just for the sake of the demonstration. And since this is an, uh, an employee, we'll just give them a random employee number, give them a test email. And then we're going to go ahead and save and close that. And so now what you can do, if you wanted to search for that employee we just made, you could simply type in their name and hit search, and that employee shows up. And if you wanted to go back and edit some information about that employee, simply double-click the record, and it opens that tab back up. Close that for now. And so now for the asset part. So if you were a company and you loaned out assets or rented out some assets, this would be perfect for you. So if you go to Add New Asset here, you can pick the employee within the database that is using the asset, so the one we just created, Test Smith, and then the vendor, which these are just some test vendors that were added in for the sake of a demonstration. If you purchase the database template, you'll be able to put in all of your own vendors. So we're going to go ahead and just use this one right here. And the asset category, we're going to say we gave them a computer to use. And the status, we're going to say they are currently using it. And the department that that employee works in is we'll put marketing. So if you want, you can, as you can see, you can put in a lot of different other information I won't for now I'll just put in a test model number um, a test serial number and then we'll put in a purchase price so we'll say they initially purchased the computer for $100 and then since let's say you had gave that uh, the computer to them for multiple years that computer is going to uh, depreciate so you need to put in what the current value of that computer is so we'll say after you know two years of use it's gone down to $95 of value Okay, so now I can save and close that asset. So now if I wanted to search for uh, a description of that asset or maybe the ID so I need to know which employee is using what asset, I could do that. So I believe the asset ID was six. So if I go ahead and hit search, there we go. That asset I just created and gave to employee Ted Smith shows up. And if you want to edit some information about that, you can simply double click this record and this box shows up again and so you can add in more information you can add in maybe they have a maintenance coming up you need to schedule maintenance you can do that I will not be doing that for now go ahead and close out of that so like I said this database template it would be perfect for if you owned a company that rented out information or went rented out assets or leased assets any of that stuff and you wanted to keep track of what vendors are using what employees of that vendor are using it, and what the asset they're using if you like this database template but you want to maybe add some things or customize some parts of this database template, simply contact Winning Solutions Inc. because we can customize this database template to reach your exact needs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to thank you guys for taking your time to watch this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough brought to you by Winning Solutions Inc. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for tons of other walkthroughs and tutorials. As always, contact us for any of your IT needs. Whether you need programming done, you want to buy a template, you want to customize a template, anything. Feel free to contact us whenever you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to post our contact information in the description below of this video. As always, you can also find us on about all social media platforms. Feel free to follow us or like us on any of those. We post quite frequently. Once again, thank you for watching this Microsoft Access Expert template walkthrough and have a great day.